Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were about to fight Vigoro. Now, uh, or Vigorio, I should say. Um, I've had some issues with this emulator, which has yet again made me question the value of emulation. Um, it's taken me quite a while to get this game to work again. There's been an update for Dolphin that's kind of bought things. I kept having loads of errors relating to shader misalignments and stuff, and... I'm just like sitting here looking at my game, uh, well not my GameCube, my GameCube's on my shelf, but my Wii. Uh, and I'm like, you know what, yeah it didn't look as pretty as this and we didn't have fast forward or save states, but it worked, <laughs> it worked, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, after some farting around, we've got everything working again. I've also got it working with my... Um, GameCube to Wii U adapter thing, so I'm actually using a GameCube controller now. Although, for some reason, the WaveBird doesn't work with Dolphin, at least the way I've got it configured. But you know, you know what does work with the WaveBird? All of my actual hardware. Yeah, I don't know. This has kind of really shocked me <laughs> on emulators. I thought they were better than this, and one cataclysmic failure has just well basically got rid of an hour and a half of recording time today and that wouldn't have happened if I was on the actual systems Ugh. anyway enough of me whining hey Vades, my cannon's bigger than yours <laughs> now feel the destructive power of my ship the Draco okay uh, oh dear yeah he's gonna hit us like every single turn with his main gun that's bad so we are going to guard. We are. Ooh. Right, using the crew command, she'll replenish your ship's HP to full. That's pretty powerful. One character's MP. Alright, nice. Uh, that is useful. We're going to use. Is it gear grease? Do we have something better? Rudder grease. Improves rudder, uh, slows the rate of spirit consumption. That's probably useful, I suppose. But let's go for some gear grease. And then we're going to guard. Then we're going to use some gear grease. Yeah, something with this uh, new version of the emulator as well. None of my save states work. Uh, none of my previous save states work, I should say. Kind of annoying. Ooh, that is a big gun. How much damage? Oof. I'm guessing that's okay. Not bad, actually. I thought that would hurt more than it did. Yes, your cannon might be slightly bigger than mine. I'll give you that. But your ship is outdated in all other manners. So, sorry, buddy. And his ship looks like a much smaller vessel. Hopefully this evasive action is actually going to pay off. Oh, he's using evasive action too. Son of a... I guess we'll just continue... Oof. This uh, aerial ballet. For now. I am curious to see how much damage my uh, primary weapon is going to do against him. Yep. Now this is more like it, a face-to-face -face confrontation. This is how real men should fight. What, in big, massive ships? Okay. Um, right, well, I suppose... We're going to use... Oof. This is pretty rough. We can't use our main gun. Um, let's get a repair kit going. I suppose we're just going to start hitting him. Really? Serpent torpedo. Hit him. Let's see if we can actually do some damage. Definitely going to need some more repair kits. Come on.
but he's focusing. I'm guessing he... Well, I don't know if he's got a bigger weapon than what he's already used on us. Okay. Okay. So we can hurt the bastard. Oh, God. We can... We could really hurt him. Apparently, he's not that deadly. I do love the way you see that shell being ejected um, out of the gun there. It's a pretty interesting design. I'm not sure why he's basically got a, <laughs> a pistol on top of his gun. But it's, you know... At least the pistol design. But it's it's interesting. I like it. Let's get those torps up in the air. Wow, I knew the Delphinus was powerful, but damn, that thing's strong. Oh, I. But that will make my victory all the sweeter. I will prove that I am the strongest man in the world. Yeah, well, cool stuff, dude. Um, now, what we are going to do is get some do ah. We could get some Dulux kits out. Probably not an awful idea, actually. Get a couple of Dulux kits. Because we have taken a little bit of a kick in the pants. And let's go for the Yamato. Ah, oh, he took damage from our torpedo, I think. Nice. Not a lot, though. Not a huge amount. Ooh, we can't keep taking shells like this. We do have the nuclear option, though. We do have the crew power. Ouch. That will automatically restore all of our health. Which is something we might need to lean on if we survive this turn. Because in a battle of attrition, I don't think we can really win. Although, I, I don't know about that. Maybe. Ooh, that wasn't a lot of damage. That was a really poor damage roll. Evasive action A. Well, you can try, sir. Ooh, nice. That was nice. That was better. Much better. We are wearing him down. Okay, so let's... Deluxe kit. Deluxe kit. Yamato. Yamato. It seems to be working. We are clawing our health back slowly as well, which is nice. Torpedoes. Be nice if they missed. Come on, give us some more health. Yeah, so he's doing like, if he gets a decent solid hit on us, we're getting about 10,000 damage every two turns. But we're restoring about 16,000 damage every two turns. So actually, on a battle of attrition, we probably have the upper hand here. Miss? Miss? That ain't no good. I don't pay you guys to miss. Oof. How much? How much? Give me a damage report. Come on. Whoa, 20,000 damage. Okay, that was bad. That was devastating, actually. Absolutely devastating. We need to bring this guy down. We need to bring him down yesterday. Whoa, that's, yeah, that's not bad, but... Uh, Definitely could have been better. Right, okay. We need to... You know what? Should we pop the nuclear option? I guess if we pop that, we can get a... No, we're not quite... Well, no, because if... 
Yeah, we couldn't survive another... We couldn't survive another 20,000 damage. Let's get her going with the 5-inch cannon. And we'll go for the Yamato. Enrique. That is us completely spent, but... Oh, much better. Now, like I say, I think we can only use those ship powers once every battle. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Now, what's the damage on that? Okay, only only a thousand that time. Or ten thousand. It's not too bad. I guess we'll accept it for now. Come on. Oh, yeah. We should have him. We got him. Somebody's crashing down in flames. Ooh. Yes, that was enough. How does that feel, big guy? Got a little burning sensation, have we? Oof. Right, nice. Very nice. We'll take it. Captain Stripes. Lovely. I, I don't believe it. They survived my Vigoro cannon several times. Belza. Are we fighting her next? I wouldn't expect anything less from you, handsome. Not even Vigoro could stop you. As an admiral in the Valley of Armada, I shall defeat you. Really? Ooh, hello. What? Uh, what was that? <laughs> Vase, look. Oh dear. Uh oh. Yeah, this is gonna get rough. <laughs> Soon I shall be rid of both of the Westerners and the Tenkal. Go, Blue Helm. Blow them out of the sky. Oh, he looks pretty mental. Uh, yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. How many ships do the Armada have? They keep losing them. God, I love the ships in this game. So epic. Damn. This must be the blue wind that the king was talking about. Yeah. You think? The winds are too strong. Our ships are losing control. We can't hold our formations. If this keeps up, all of our ships will be destroyed. I don't want to do this, but we have no choice. All ships retreat. It's Blue Helm. We might be able to take him on with the Delphinus. I really hope so. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Alright, everyone. Let's go. It's up to us. Yeah. Yeah, it's up to us, alright. Right. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? After another emulator crash. Not a fan of this new update, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Blueheim is the Blue Gagas. It will most likely attack with wind and wave attacks. Okay. Well, we don't have much time to think of a plan at this point, so we just have to look for a weakness as we fight it. Well, that seems reasonable. So it's got some weird dingly dangly head and we are about as injured as we could possibly be. So let's go for you, smoke them if you got them and we're going to pump out some serious gear grease here. 
think three loads of gear grease should put us in a somewhat decent position to fight against this thing. Oh man, that is such a bloody cool move. So cheap to use as well. Okay, okay. So this thing's got like a hundred thousand hit points. Really bloody hurt. Kind of a cool creature. It kind of reminds me out of, uh, of something from like Skies of Arcadia. Blue lightning. Ooh, that's gonna sting. Yeah. Oh. Maybe not. Okay, I mean, you would have thought these ships would be uh, designed to handle huge amounts of lightning being airships. I can't believe how fast that thing is. I never thought something so big could move so fast. Yeah, that's that's the problem. But that's okay. We're just going to keep keep buffing ourselves, I guess. Um, I guess we could use a little bit of magic. Let's get some of that going. Yeah, so you can only use this once per turn, once per battle. That's unfortunate. Okay. And I guess if we can use some magic to use that bad boy. Let's also stack some gear grease. Try and fill our meter up if we can. A little bit more defense, a little bit more armor, and a little bit more speed. Hopefully that shall uh, help us dodge. Ooh, Phoenix Ray. Yeah, I don't, I, I, don't, uh, I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Ooh, savage. Yeah. What does that do? Oh, okay, this thing doesn't seem as tough as I thought it might be. And I'm happy with that. Yeah, blue lightning seems to do about three to four thousand damage, I guess. Should do a little bit less now. Yeah, three thousand damage. It does have a lot of attacks. It's not afraid to attack. Each attack might not do a huge amount of damage, but when it's spamming quite a few of them, uh, I think it will wear us down over time. But we've got a decent amount of spirit. Pretty crazy that with the Delphinus, though, uh, humans have finally built ships that can actually somewhat comfortably take on the can we skip this now we've seen it we can't even skip these yeah but we can fast forward them I suppose yeah humans have finally built ships that can take on these war gods right now it's our turn so let's pop a deluxe kit and Maybe a couple of deluxe kits. And then we're going to hit it with a moonstone cannon. We can only fire that once per turn, apparently. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. Let's do some damage of our own. Whilst we try and patch our ship back up. A bit of duct tape and polish. You and that bloody blue lightning, honestly. We can definitely out-repair this thing. It's preparing an attack. Right, here we go. Moonstone cannon, baby. Moonstone cannon, fire. How much? 
Ooh. Oh, right through it. Yeah, okay. It's going to take a few of those, but that's fine. Alright, so our weapons are fairly effective against it, to be honest. Blue wins. Oh dear. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, no, not really. Actually. Alright. What an incredible blast of wind. It's blown us completely off course. Watch out, Blue Helm is preparing its next attack. Uh, this must be its strategy, using that burst of wind. It pushes the enemy into position for its next attack. Unless we can do something to counter that wind attack, we'll be helpless against this thing. We need to try and think of a plan. Yeah, um... Right, let's get some health going. Gear grease. And then let's hit it with some guns. I mean, it's not difficult to keep ourselves topped off with health at least. <laughs> Although that hurt significantly more. Than I was hoping. Oof, yeah. Those attacks are hurting. Oh no, son of a bitch. You can't afford to miss. Oh, evasive action, come on. And we lost the next attack. That was bad. Yeah, that was really not good. Let's. Popper do luck to get. We need to start doing a little bit of damage to this thing. Oh, let's try and get some damage out on this thing. Ah. Come on, miss. Right, that hit, but not a huge amount. Five inch cannons lost. Oof. Going for a long one here, that's for sure. Um, right, let's give us some. Give us some health. Give us some gear grease. Give us a cannon. And try, and I guess use the Yamato cannon again. Phoenix cannon. Come on. Get that Moonstone cannon out. Here we go. Come on, baby. Moonstone cannon, fire. Tasty little lightning of our own. Right, we've got it down to half health, which <laughs> isn't as impressive as it sounds. Yeah, this is really... Ah, oh, see, there's no point using your standard guns. Because they don't really ever hit. Ah, I have a cunning plan. Deluxe kit. Uh, Deluxe kit. We're going to go for... Let's try, pop some gear grease, actually, what we do probably want, get some more magic going, let's pop some of that, now on the final turn, let's see if we can knock it off kilter with the cannon, let's give it a go, see what happens. Makes sense in my mind. But then that's not exactly saying much. Oh, God. Taking some nasty hits. Right, yeah. 
Now let's see if this is actually going to knock it off balance. Be nice if it opens it up directly for another Moonstone attack. Whoa. That definitely hurts it. No, because it still does the blue winds. Not sure how we avoid that blue wind attack. No idea. Luckily, it doesn't do a huge amount. We've been blown off course again. Isn't there anything we can do against this thing? Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we try going into a defensive... Ah, uh, that might actually be a better idea. Yeah, it kind of sounds obvious when you say it out loud. Um... Right. I guess we could try and defend and see what happens. Let's go for some gear grease. Spend another turn bulking up. Don't want to get an opportunity to use the main gun and then not have enough power. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to help us that much when defending. Okay, now we're tanked up. Okay, so let's unleash everything on it. Let's see what happens. Lost. Yeah, we're just going to get a battering, aren't we? Okay, we actually hit it there. Small mercies. Torpedoes away. Hit it with the torpedo. It's just going to kick our ass now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess the only thing we can really do... Let's keep buffing. I guess, because we should still be able to do some damage on it. Come on. Little guns lost their targets. And again. Do lightning. Oh, we hit it. We actually hit it. And again. Is that it? Is that all she wrote? It is. Whew, that was a 15 minute long battle. Well, winning's winning. And that was a nice little number. Ica is level 39. Nice. Almost approaching level 40 of everybody. And another captain stripe. Excellent. That's another 4,000 health to add to the ship. Ooh. Definitely looks like something out of Panzer Dragoon. I, I can't believe it. The air pirates defeated Blue Helm. I need to get out of here. Hey, you're not going anywhere, Sunshine. Huh? Kangan, you cannot escape. Surrender or die. Eh, just kill him. I, I surrender. Just kill him. Have a public execution. Ooh, these ships. Man, they've taken some serious damage. Good. Brave adventurers from the west, I thank you for saving Yafutoma. But it was my country that caused all of this. I am terribly sorry for all the trouble caused by the Valuans. I do not know how I can make it up to you. Prince Enrique, please, raise your head. Daigo has explained everything to me. You feel responsible because you're a Valuan prince, but it is not your fault. 
Thank you for understanding, but we have only won the battle. As we speak, the Armada is regrouping. Until Valua sets itself back down the path of righteousness, I will continue to fight them. I see. Very well then. I will pray for your well-being. And perhaps the Megasphere will, will aid you in your fight. Take it with you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> really? Are you sure it's okay? Didn't you say it's necessary in pointing a successor to the throne? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even without a symbol, I already have such an accomplished successor already. Excellent. I've also decided to return to my father and accept the responsibility of defending my people. That's great. Hey, what happened to Kangan and Miraji? They were exiled to Tenkao Island. We figured that if they spent some time in exile, they'd realize what they've done and become better people or kill each other. <laughs> I Let's hope they kill each other. <laughs> Iga, so heartless. <laughs> I like that plan. It serves them right. That it does. That reminds me. I noticed your ship isn't capable of going to great heights or depths. Yeah, take this with you. This is from my people. It contains all of the knowledge necessary to enable your ship to fly higher or lower than you've ever imagined. Wow, thank you. I'll make sure we put it to good use. Yeah, now the whole map kind of opens up to us. Father, I have something to ask of you. I... Please, let me go with these people. What? If what they say is true, then there are matters of great importance occurring in the West. You and Dago both said you will stay to protect our country. But I am helping defending our country by helping these people in their quest. Mm hmm. Well said, Mogi. I am proud to have you as a sister. Prince Enrique. I speak to you not only as a fellow prince, but as a brother concerned for his sister's well-being. Please take care of her. Hmm. You have my word. I will defend her with my life, you sap. Princess, let us join forces and return peace to this world. Yes, Prince Enrique, I entrust my life to you. Aww. Very well then. It appears that I do not have much choice in this matter anyway. Enrique, you're getting much more reliable by the minute. <laughs> Seem like a different person. Just until recently, all I ever saw of you was the back of your head leaning over the railing of the ship. <laughs> Ika, do you have to constantly remind me about that? <laughs> uh, she's right, Enrique. Yeah. Alright, let's go home. Poor Enrique. You received the blue moon crystal and you received the book on polarity. Mogi has joined your crew as a delegate. Well, okay then. Yeah, we can do like some pretty mental things with our ship now. We can actually uh, take to the skies and we can fall deep, deep below ground. It's, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Now, I need to double check and make sure. Uh, that we picked up everything. I think we picked up everything in here. Um, I hope we picked up everything. Because it has been a little while since I've played this. Have a little look, shall we? I'm sure there was a chest in here at some point. I mean, luckily we can save it in here, so it's no big deal if not. Okay. Well. I think we'll save it in the other area. I think we collected all the chests, actually. I'll have to check my notes. Might be worth swinging by the provision shop as well. Because now we're free from here, uh, we've got a lot of side stuff that we can do, actually. There's probably going to be the next few videos 
uh, is going to be side stuff. We've got monsters to fight. Uh, secret bosses, I guess, if you will. We have uh, bounties. We have the black spots that we need to do. Um, yeah, we're kind of busy now. And uh, lots and lots and lots of discoveries. Oh man, you better believe we have a lot of discoveries to fight. I think now, pretty much, we can go get every discovery. Pretty much. But let's go find a save spot, because I don't trust save states. It's kind of unfortunate. Especially when you're recording, you kind of need the ability to save. Um, wherever you can, because you don't always have enough time to get to the next save station, or save spot. Okay. There we go. Right. Anyway, guys, when we come back, uh, we need to decide what of the many, many, many things we want to do first. Uh, and that's not an easy task, because there are many, many, many things we can do now. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time,